In this video, I will show you the steps how to add a service level agreement policy in Zendesk. So to do that, we need to go to the admin center. And then on the left-hand side, you can search for service level agreements. And then we will be uh, seeing this settings page for the service level agreement. So service level agreement, or people usually call it SLA, is basically a contract between you and your customer that specify the performance measures for support by ticket priority. So Zendas, as an example, I guess if you respond to urgent ticket in 10 minutes and then you need to resolve them within two hours, we need to create a policy so that we, we can be sure that we meet that, that target. So in this example, I'm going to create a new policy. And then in this policy, I want to make sure that I reply to any new tickets within certain time. So I enter the name of the policy is first reply. And then if I have specific conditions, for example, if I need to narrow, narrow down the tickets that going to get applied by this policy, I can specify conditions. So you may specify conditions maybe by brand or by specific organization or by certain channel. In this case, I just want to apply this policy to all tickets. So I want to make sure that for urgent tickets, I want to make sure that uh, my support agent going to get back to the customer within two hours. If it's high, uh, then four hours. If it's normal, it's eight. Or if it's 16, then I'm going to reply to them within 24 hours. So in addition to first reply time, uh, we can also set different target. So things like request or wait time, uh, agent work time, the next reply time, periodic update, and also possible update. So each target will have their own different set of rules. So for example, if, this, if it's request or wait time, that will count the total time spent in new, open, and on hold. Uh, the SLA will pass if the ticket is updated to pending. Agent work time, this is counting number of uh, time or measuring the time a ticket in new or open status. And the next reply is basically the time between the oldest uh, customer comment and the next public comment from the agent. Or if it's something that's urgent and then you need to make sure that your agent give periodic update to your ticket, then you can specify this periodic update policy. So once I'm comfortable, I guess for this one, it's just the first reply, I'm going to hit save. And then that policy is get saved. Now, if I need to, I can add additional policy and then I can specify different target. So if you have multiple SLA policy, Zendas will apply uh, the rule from top to bottom. So if it meets the criteria in the first one, it will apply the first rule. If it doesn't meet the criteria of the first policy, then it will go to the, to the next one and so on. So once the service level agreement is configured, so the next thing that you probably want to use is that you probably want to make it visible on the ticket views. So for unassigned tickets, for example, we want to be able to show that SLA policy. So to do that, for example, we can modify a ticket view. So for unassigned tickets, now I can add a column basically that will show the countdown of next SLA breach. So when there is a new ticket um, that received, for example, I will be able to see how many hours or how many minutes left before I missed the SLA target. And then in addition to views, we can also do various things uh, using Zenless automation uh, for example, if we can create automation and then use that uh, service level agreement uh, SLA breach basically. So maybe if my support agents don't respond to a ticket and then there's only just one hour left, then I can set an automation 
to make sure that someone get notified before the XLA is breached. But yeah, that's pretty much all the steps to configure service level agreement in Zendesk. Thank you for watching.